I started out using a piece of foam for the base that I burned a depression into it with a torch for the 3D model to rest on. Then I placed the bottom of the casting flask over the pattern and started to make the mold. I filled this half of the mold with casting sand, pressing down gently over the pattern so I didn't damage it. Fill this all the way to the top and level it off. Once level, flip over this half of the box so we can start on the other half. Because of the large depression in the foam, I have to now scrape away a lot of the extra sand surrounding the pattern. Brush away any of the loose sand so you have a clean surface. Now I'm going to cut in the runners and the gate and the location of where I'm going to be putting the sprue. This will be where the molten metal will flow into the pattern. Remove the loose sand and add the top of the box. Before adding sand, make sure to add parting powder so both halves of the box do not stick together when removed. Fill the box with sand all the way to the top, ramming it down and leveling it off. Separate the mold box and inspect the impression the pattern made into the sand. Gently tap on the pattern and then flip over the box to remove it. Now with the top of the mold box, I'm going to scrape away the runners and the gate. Remove the loose sand in any means necessary. I used a small screwdriver to poke two little holes to try and help any of the gases escape from the mold. I then used a piece of copper pipe to press down through the sand to create a sprue. The sprue is the area where the molten metal will flow into the mold. I'll then carve out a larger opening on the top of the mold box. When finished, close the mold box and it is now ready.